So, a bit of a rainy day today, and one thing we like to always encourage people to do is to drive a different route home. So, we've all got these normal routes that we take whenever we drive, and so, you know, we get this habit of going the same route all the time, and you're going to see the same houses over and over again, but if you're a real estate investor, you want to have your eyes peeled for what could be vacant houses. So, take, go, a, go a different way. Just go take a side street. So, we're going to run a little side street today, but it's not beautiful today, but... That's going to create opportunity, right? It does. It definitely creates opportunity because, you know, the people that say they want to do this and they're always asking us, how do you guys find the houses? It's because we do what we have to do when we have to do it. You know, it doesn't matter if it's raining out or below freezing or snowing or 110. We so what, what we have to do. So we're looking for, hey, check it out. Check it out. Here we go. Here we that. go. All right. So perfect. So when you're driving around looking for houses, you want to find houses that are vacant. They're going to be your best buys, right? When you find houses that are vacant, that usually means that the person could be a motivated seller. Not always, but they could be a motivated seller. So how do you know? On a house like this, we pull up, look it, it's overgrown. We love overgrown. So in the summertime, it's overgrown. In the wintertime, the driveways aren't plowed. There's snow piling up everywhere. There's, There's mail piling up. Yep, mail piling up. So I'll tell you what, let's, we're going to get our umbrellas. We're going to get out there and brave the, uh, the elements. And let's check out and see if we can't find out what's going on with this house. Check it out. So this is our uh, friend of ours, actually. We know him because we've done so many houses in the neighborhood. I always say to get close to your the uh, building inspectors, building inspectors and code enforcement because they know a lot about neighborhoods, right? right? Yeah, what houses are in bad shape. And what the code violations are. And right. they usually know the backstory of what's going on with the house, too. So what we'll do is make a phone call to Jim, and we'll find out what's going on with this house and do some research. We can actually go to the town or the county, find out who owns the house. And send them a little postcard or a handwritten card and say, look, you know, we'd like to buy your house for cash and just give us a call and start that way. This is how you find off-market deals. Now, if while you're here, if you can take a look at the inside, don't break in. But if you can look through windows, check it out. It's good shape, actually. Oh, wow. Nice hardwood floors. The walls are in good shape. It looks yeah. like somebody it's like somebody started a renovation and didn't finish. Right. Bit of a busy road. Some appliances in there. Yeah, we actually own some rentals on this road, so this might be a good rental, depends on the price you get it for. We can determine your exit strategy later, but first you want to find out if you can even get a deal in the first place. So if the numbers look like they're gonna work, yeah. what, do, what do they want for yeah. it? So guys, bird dogging is just one way you can find houses, but it's free. It doesn't cost anything to market to do this, and you can make a lot of money just by driving a different way home and keeping your eyes. One way of many to find off-market deals and the money, where the money's at, is in off-market deals. So if you like what you heard here, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel because we are going to be sharing a lot more tips as we go along here. And if you have any questions, make sure you put those below and we'll answer. And if you have any friends that are interested in flipping, make sure you tag them here and share it.